In the prehistoric landscapes of Australia, amidst the vast wilderness roamed a bird of unimaginable proportions, the Dramornis. Known from fossils, this colossal creature commands our imagination, summoning visions of a world where megafauna dominated the Earth. Its sheer size and the mysteries surrounding its existence make Dromornis not just a subject of scientific study, but also a symbol of nature's forgotten grandeur. Often likened to a towering feathered emperor of its era, Dromornis belonged to an ancient group of birds known as Dromornithidae. These birds thrived during the Miocene and Pliocene epochs, a time when Australia's ecosystems were dramatically different from today. The aura of Dromornis is not just in its size, but also in its enigmatic life story, how it lived, and more intriguingly, why it vanished. The fascination with Dromornis is enhanced by its disappearance, which left behind scant traces, compelling scientists and enthusiasts alike to piece together its story from fossil remains. The remnants of these birds, primarily bones and partial skeletons, provide a glimpse into a bygone era, sparking curiosity and awe in equal measures. Dromornis stetoni, the largest of its kind, reached heights that rivaled modern giraffes. Standing up to three meters tall and weighing approximately 500 kilograms, these dimensions make it one of the largest birds ever to walk the earth. Its massive, robust legs suggest a life spent predominantly on the ground as its enormous weight would have made flight impossible. The skull of Dromornis was equally impressive, equipped with a large beak that hints at a powerful feeding mechanism. The head was large, with eyes positioned for optimal frontal vision, suggesting that despite its size, it needed to be constantly aware of its surroundings. This feature points to a life where vigilance was necessary, possibly due to predators or competition for resources. Further emphasizing its grandeur, the bird's skeleton indicates a strong, sturdy frame capable of supporting its giant bulk. The bones are dense, hinting at a life under considerable physical stress, possibly from supporting its weight or perhaps from long walks in search of food across the Australian landscapes. Contrary to what one might expect from such a gigantic bird, recent studies suggest that Dromornis was not primarily carnivorous. Isotopic analysis of its bones indicates a diet that was heavily reliant on plants, positioning it as a potential herbivore or omnivore. This revelation challenges earlier notions of it being a fierce predator, painting a picture of a gentler giant. The bird's large beak was likely used to gather large amounts of vegetation, which was necessary to sustain its enormous body. The morphology of its beak and the wear patterns on its fossils suggest a diet that included leaves, fruits and possibly seeds. This dietary habit indicates that Dromornis played a significant role in its ecosystem, possibly influencing the types of vegetation that thrived around it. Moreover, the presence of Dromornis would have impacted other species within its habitat. Through its feeding habits, it would have engaged in what ecologists call landscape engineering, inadvertently shaping the vegetation patterns and thus the overall ecological makeup of its environment. The Section 4 theories behind the grand extinction. The disappearance of Dromornis, along with other Australian megafauna, is a topic of considerable debate among scientists. One prevailing theory suggests that climate change played a significant role. As Australia dried and became more arid, the lush habitats that supported large species like Dromornis dwindled, leading to a decline in their populations. Another theory points to human activity as a contributing factor. The arrival of humans in Australia approximately 50,000 years ago coincides with the extinction of many large species. It is posited that human hunting practices combined with landscape changes due to fire use significantly altered the survivability of these giant birds. However, the exact cause of Dromornis's extinction likely involves a combination of both environmental changes and human impacts. This complexity adds another layer of intrigue to the study of these magnificent birds as it mirrors the multifaceted challenges faced by modern species in changing environments. Section 5, Unveiling the Secrets Lesser Known Facts Despite its size, Dromornis likely had a surprisingly rapid growth rate. Studies of bone structures suggest that these birds grew to their full size within a few years, an astonishing feat given their massive dimensions. This rapid growth may have been a survival adaptation, allowing juveniles to reach a size that deterred predators more quickly. 
Interestingly, Dromornis had no teeth, which is unusual for such a large animal. Instead, it had a strong beak that was highly effective at processing its food. This adaptation highlights the bird's unique evolutionary path, which diverged significantly from other large flightless birds like the ostrich or emu, which possess different beak structures. Moreover, the social structure of Dromornis is a subject of ongoing research. Some evidence suggests that these birds could have lived in flocks, which would have been a spectacular sight. Imagine a group of three meter tall birds moving through the forest. Social behavior could have played a crucial role in their survival, offering protection against predators and efficient foraging. Section six conclusion lessons from the lost giants. The extinction of Dromornis and other megafauna serves as a poignant reminder of the fragility of biodiversity. Studying these ancient giants helps us appreciate the complexity of ecosystems and the interdependence of species. As we reflect on the past, the fate of Dromornis offers critical insights into the consequences of environmental changes and human activities. Today, as we face rapid biodiversity loss due to similar factors, the story of Dromornis compels us to consider our role in preserving the remaining giants of our time. Whether it's combating climate change or protecting habitats from human encroachment, the lessons from Dromornis underscore the urgent need for conservation efforts that ensure the survival of diverse species. In sum, the story of Dromornis is not just about the past. It's a call to action for the future, urging us to safeguard our planet's biological treasures against the tide of extinction. By learning from what was lost, we can better protect what remains, ensuring a rich, diverse world for generations to come.